Hey guys, this is the Tuminator, and this is part 47 on Fight in Vegas uh, Let's Play. So I just want to apologize for the last segment not having found for some reason, as I noted in the annotations, although some of you appear to have missed that. Uh, for some reason, even though I had my mic plugged in and on, it didn't record my voice volume, so I'm not really sure why that is. But uh, as you can hear, I am back, and hopefully that won't happen again in the future, so let's talk to these guys. Oh god, what? Can you speak? Do you understand me? Did something happen with your voice module? Is that a yes or a no or a yes no? <laughs> I think there's probably some way to... I'm pretty sure you can understand me and I want some answers. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who you used to be? I'll be going now. And time to speak to Dr. Boros. Have you come for hello? Oh, I'll give you a hello. Uh, a hello unsurpassed in all creation. Love this guy. The lobotomite animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? My God. Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. <laughs> do you comprehend, commie animal? What are you call it a commie. Animal, did you just call me an animal? Yes, animal. Hormones, pores, glands, all wrapped up in skin. I love the random Who capitals. Who knows what so terrifying great. secrets lie beneath your epidermis? Scalpels shall tell us your secrets, even if we must cut deep for such knowledge. I was head of my biology class at American High, you know? <laughs> I encountered your pet in X8 and had to kill it. So, you put down Gabe. Thank you. A scab, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. In any event, thank you for putting him down. One last test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of Doggy's cybo engineering. Uh, never mind me spoken enough. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. <laughs> yeah, the guy's just great. Love him already. I have a quest for myself to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go back there later. I feel like doing something else. Uh, Yeah, as I was saying yesterday, uh, which obviously you guys wouldn't be able to hear because my stupid, uh, I, mean, I honestly didn't even notice that there was no voice until I had up already uploaded it to YouTube, so I just left it up, but it's quite weird. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, I have been, uh, kind of re-watching Angel out of boredom in the past few days. Actually, we just watched season five for the first time as well, which is pretty awesome. The only reason is, but if you don't know Angel, it's a spin-off show to Buffy, which I also love. It's kind of like a more noir-y, like, action-oriented. More of a guy show, really, although they're both awesome, but it's quite good, so I've just been watching and enjoying that. Definitely recommend giving it a look if you haven't. Clark, remember the time you forgot to carry the two and nearly blew up the Wise Hero Research Center? Oh, wait, you did! Or was that me? <laughs> I do go back it. Alrighty, so we'll, we'll just fast travel in the interest of not getting killed horribly. Which way am I going? Yep, right this way. Oh, 
also been watching or watch season five of Doctor Who right now. Quite a, oh Jesus. It's also quite a good show. Although it can be quality can be a little iffy at times, which I was which is why I was glad to see with season five it's actually pretty consistent. And that most episodes are usually uh, quite good, whereas uh, in the previous seasons, while it can, off, it can be really good, it can also be like kind of horrifyingly bad at times. So uh, it must be because I'm using the Watts weapon. If I disintegrate someone with this, since it's not a normal weapon, I, I can't get the uh, what's it called the the energy cells that that perk is from chemist chemical engineer or whatever. Alrighty, let's take the, uh, oh, no, I don't want to use that. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is with these guys spawning in? Good thing I don't have a meltdown activator. That didn't end poorly. Jesus Christ, what is with me taking massive damage from everything? Should probably make sure realistic headshot still is an option or something. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Got him. There we go. Huh. Aim doesn't have to do with my uh, weapon, then, because that was killed by the Q35. It's a standard, normal, unmodded energy weapon. So I'm just going to explore through the whole place first, and then I'm going to come back and then make sure I didn't miss anything, but we'll just get the efficient recycling. I do miss Veronica for the purposes of that, but fortunately there's just workbenches everywhere here, so not really a big problem. I love that perk, even though I might get more ammo to get this by selling stuff. It's quite useful one. During the DLCs, and there isn't really any close to hand. Uh, how much uh, RCW ammo I've got at this point? Hmm. Oh, is that the whole thing? Or is there a power oh, What? What the? The hell was that? I honestly don't know what's up with this DLC and like just just making me die instantly and stuff. I've already circum circulated the entire facility. It seems possible at this point. And then perhaps it's got to be inside somewhere, I, I guess. Yep, already. Go back inside it is. Unless that's a different area up there that I can get into. Hmm. Locked 
let's see. That's weird, what would it say? It's... I have to climb up to the satellite to show How the hell do I do that? Hmm. Oh! Durr. Get a quick save, because it's probably some kind of horrific trap. Ooh. Now this is cool. Check out that view. That is pretty freaking cool. Uh, trying to steal the H2 transmitter array antenna, are you? You won't succeed. Not if my little robo scorpions have any say in the matter. Well, let's hope they don't. Crap, am I in combat? It will only repair. Alrighty, buff out it is. And I'm not addicted, that's good. Automatic uh, RCW ammo at this point. Of course, I'm gonna get mobbed by wibbly nasty scorpions as soon as I leave here. But it's the hazards of the job. I'm sure I probably missed some stuff in here, so whatever it was, just yell at me in the comments and I'll go back and find it. Crap, have I not been picking up the drain like infusion cells? Hmm. Have to make a note to do that. The has retrieved two. Count them. Two. Check them. Oh, Jesus. Why can't I move? Intruder, return what you have stolen from X2. For the term Gara. Imagine how they kind of retreat once you start shooting them. else I can use. Uh, really should have stopped it. Oh, right, this sound. Let's see how, what, how much damage this thing does. Love the Fallout one music. Impacts, and I have recovered two out of the three technologies. So, 
almost close to see get to uh, that thing. Well, I still want to finish this as well. So. Uh, just the person always seem kind of hilarious, so I'll probably go do them next before I finish up the DLC. Or actually, I'm probably not even close to finishing it either. I shouldn't assume that, but I've been playing for like one more. Let's see, maybe. Oh Jesus! I've been playing for about maybe like two hours now, so. Classy old man auto dock. Save me. Where is he? There he is. Do you require some additional services? Yes, oh god, I'm dying. And rightly so, I should think. Alright then, let me just fire up the old interface for you. Uh. Basic physical exam? Let's do that. So I'm not dying anymore. And then, uh, you require some let's see additional what this thing is. Still hmm. Do nothing. I don't know if by ten percent cat this means maybe ten percent more damage to Cazadors. Uh, I'll have to look that up, it's interesting. Uh I'm gonna pair these. Oh <laughs> I forgot that. The wonders of Dre Reed. Nurse. This man's got a severe case. Uh, shoe along. Uh, where to now? I'm gonna go north. See if I can't recover some of those. Other person. Is this this blue grass stuff? Interesting. Ah, uh, mad science. Also pretty fun because, uh, most of you probably won't know what this is, but, uh, the book series called The Dresden Files, which is like this kind of modern urban fantasy about, uh, this, this like, wizard private detective guy. So I got to see, uh, uh meet the author at a signing yesterday. That was pretty awesome. Uh, have these guys bugging? Or they don't have their weapons again. That's what happened a ton of my game recently, so he pissed me off. Am I stuck in these? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so I've never been able to go to a book signing before, so I thought that was pretty cool. He's a real funny guy, too. So. If you like that genre at all, I definitely recommend it. Pretty awesome books. I enjoy them. Hopefully, you'd enjoy them. But, yeah. Uh, coward. Alrighty, gonna end it soon, I think. But, uh. Ooh. Gotta remember to pick up the drain ones. Those lights, or is it like some kind of a chest? I'll go investigate. Oh, uh, reds. Huh, it is a full locker. Anything useful? <laughs> Figures. Of course, now I'm obligated to check all these foot loggers for loot. Wonder glue. It's gonna be wonder glue in all of them, isn't it? God damn it, obsidian. Stop messing with my head. Shui does kind of remind me of, of the pit a little in the sense of uh, just massive buildings kind of in the background. That's one of my favorite thing, uh, the DLCs for uh, Fallout 3 is even though the pit, the storyline was really short. I thought it, uh, just the sheer atmosphere of that DLC was really pretty incredible. And the way they just, uh, like if the first time I went into the steel mill and just like just saw how big that was, and then being able to climb up, all the way up, all the way to the top was just amazing. Oh god. That alone made the DLC worth it. It's just utterly fantastic. Uh, 
Ugh, microfusion cells. Alrighty. So it must be, yeah. No, it's probably Mobius's dome or whatever. Forbidden zone. You enter your realm. Let us sight our sound, but of mine. The forbidden zone. Ah, Rod Sterling. Classy guy. Twilight Zone's on Netflix as well, if you guys haven't. That show is... What the hell is that? That show is just awesome. It's like red Tiberium in these walls. Hmm. That can't be good. Uh, and where's the person attacking me? Because that's the combat. That's a cliff there, so we're not gonna go down there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of too dark to tell, but that appears to be some form of cliff. So, as I like not dying, we're not gonna go down there. That's one of the places. Damn. Alright. I'll figure this out. It's so freaking dark. I can't see anything. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what the f Oh, my God. Like these things. I hate them to fall out too. They get in pain in the ass. Alright, I'm gonna try to balls out. Rush. Oh god. That could have gone better. I'll admit. Alrighty. Uh. <sighs> Try it one more time. Spore monsters. Shit. No. Oh, patient zero, the original spore monster. And why am I fighting it with a fucking axe? Or that thing. I don't want to fight with that thing. Oh, I gotta use a stick back Oh, damn. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, 
see if I can find that last thing and clear it out, because I gotta wrap this up for right now. Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna end uh, here for today. We're in the botanical gardens looking for one of the personalities. It shouldn't take too long. This is a really beautiful environment. I really like this. I don't see a lot of ruined buildings like this in Vegas. I guess three, so it always looks like a nice, good ruin. Anyways, as always, uh, thanks for watching. This has been part 47 of my Fall in Vegas Let's Play. This is the Tunator, and I'll see you all later.